Hello everyone, I'm Drumat Atelier OTP who is at around 350 LP on Grandmaster on Europe Nordic and East. Recently I picked up Tlia Mid again and I decided to make a video to showcase what you have to do exactly to make Tlia Mid work this season. First, the prerequisites. One, you have to practice more than others and truly focus. Playing Tlia mid is not simple nor easy. And two, you have to follow at least five specific rules, which we will talk about in this video. Before we dive into the details, I want to say that I believe she is decent in today's meta, strictly because of the latest changes that happened to mid power levels and ADC power levels, and to the fact that a lot of self healing has been mitigated, for example Gore Drinker nerfs, and also item burst has been reduced. Tulia really struggled against someone who she full comboed and then that guy just healed up to full in 3 seconds making her rather useless. Let's jump to the rules you have to follow which I generally noticed not only by analyzing my own replays but also by analyzing replays of challenger Tulia mid players from other servers and from pro play as well, well mostly Tlia jungle there because rarely someone plays Tlia mid now on pro play. The rules, five of them are 1. Proper build path. I'm not saying here which mythic is the best, I personally believe Lyandry is best but this is not the point of what I want to say. On the mythic part it's your job to compare Lyandry Ludens and the new buffed Everfrost or whatever build you'd like and it's your job to decide, ok? I found that with Lyandry I deal the most damage but test it for yourself and don't take my word as gospel, this is not what I want to talk about. By proper build path I mean that if you're against a heavy skill shot champion you go Sorcius first buy and by proper build path I mean that if you're against Yone, Yasuo, Zed you go for Seekers first and similarly you go for Mertreads early if you're against heavy CC or for Verdant Barrier if you're against the heavy AP damage, multiple AP champions, AP assassins and so on. The important thing is that you have to build these things before the mythic, that's the key, that's what all the high elo players do. It makes the lane manageable, it gives you survivability and the extra time you need to accomplish 2 versus 2s or to survive just better. 2. Vision words. Vision words and vision words. Lately I found myself on mid buying at least 4 or 5 vision words per game. On Talia this is mandatory strictly because she relies so much on her one shot combo. She is perhaps one of the few champions with which setting up vision actually wins you easily games. Place the vision words, wait for enemies, full combo, GG. Rule number 3, proper bans or proper dodge. Talia really hates Katarina, Zed, Fizz and Irelia. Sometimes she hates Yone, sometimes she hates Yasuo too or some other AP mages or assassins. But generally I ban Katarina and try to ask for a Zed ban and if somehow I face a Zed or Irelia or Fizz, I try to understand their power levels and just push through it. But remember, again some of these champions, especially Irelia, sometimes dodge is the easy way out. Some matchups do feel unplayable and your best bet winning them is to survive and roam. Rule number 4, your main goal should be playing with your jungler and not against him. If he goes to gank top, you go too and ping your bot to be careful with a danger ping. If he goes to gank bot, you do the same. Generally early wins on 2 vs 2 with your jungler will snowball both of you very very far ahead. Playing with ignite and flash gives Tilia the tools to catch off and win those skirmishes. Compared to early seasons. I see myself much more going for 2 vs 2 jungle roams and early scuttles and vision controls or fake roams. Do a fake roam by just going in your jungle or some zone that is far away from their vision and make their bot or top laner recall or back off by forcing them to miss yes. Uh, I rarely gank bot pre level 6 now and I focus more on giving my jungler the help he needs. 
it. Learn to recognize good and bad roams and try to lose as few CS as possible when roaming. Don't roam or die when there is a 10 CS wave approaching your tower. Don't miss the cannons. If their mid is level 9 and you are level 7, you are doing it wrong. Work on it. Rule number 5 and the last of it, mental attitude. Remember this is a marathon, not a race. Learning Talia is very difficult and it takes a lot of time to understand the micro part with her full combo and also take a lot of time to practice and learn the macro part. It takes experience to know when to help your jungler or when he's doomed, to know when to gank bot or to just push mid. Don't be too hard on yourself because you're learning a challenging champion. Take your time. Watch your own replays as much as you can, watch challenger replays and remember um, however their teammates react differently than yours and so compare that um, because challenger players will also have always have more skill and more map awareness compared to let's say silver or uh, gold so don't expect when you watch these replays for your teammates to react uh, the same so think it, uh, think it accordingly and keep on improving. Thanks for watching and good luck guys, bye bye.